In our last session, we created a Doric style column. In this session, we're going to learn how to create an Ionic style capital. This is just one method. You may choose a different method. I'm going to start in front view. If your views menu is not showing, go to view toolbars scroll down until you see the word views and put a check mark in that box close and then you'll have your views menu from the front view I'm going to draw a circle I'm going to click on the tool release the mouse button click the mouse button down pull hold it down pull out a circle release the mouse button and type in the radius that I want I'm going to use four feet now I'm going to find the center of that circle and draw another circle. If you can't find the center, if you're just if, if it's not clicking on the on the center part, draw a line directly across your circle and use that to find your midpoint. Okay, and once you have your midpoint, draw out another circle and another one and another one, as many as you would like to make your scroll part of this more or less fancy. Now I'm going to need to erase this line in order to get the next part to work. A little tedious, but it is important. I do have to click on each line segment. I can't just select the whole thing. Okay, now I'm going to use the push-pull. I'm going to push back alternate sections. I want it to go backwards about four feet. And not this one, but the next one back about four feet. And the next, not the next one, but the next one after that, four feet and so on until I have my alternating sections. Now I'm going to draw a line across the front again because I need to restore the missing sections. Orbit around to the back of my form. I'm going to pull this top one out to meet the others. Draw a line across and fill those in. Again, I need to erase the lines. The reason I needed to create the lines in the first place was so that I could fill in the circles because I don't really want them to go back four feet. That was just the dimension for the whole form. I really want the, the indentations to be only about maybe 10 inches, just enough to be visible. Now I'll orbit around to the other side and zoom out a little bit and up use my eraser tool to erase the lines on this side. Okay, and I will repeat the process of indenting certain sections. 10 inches. The inch mark is the quote mark, by the way. Skip the next space. 10 inches. Skip the next space. 10 inches. And 10 inches. Okay, so now I have this form, this nice three dimensional form. And this is only half of the top of the ionic style column. So I'm going to take this selection tool, select all of that, 
make it a component and call it half ionic. Okay. Once I have that, I can pull off a copy by holding the control key using the move tool. Now I want to pull it apart a good distance, maybe about a foot. I'll make this 1.5 feet away. Whoops. Uh, overlap, so undo copy. Let's try it again. Control, move. Oh, I see. I need it to be more like 12 feet. Okay, 12 feet. Now I'll go to the top view. I'll pan over a little bit. I need to make a rectangle that connects these two. So I'll choose my rectangle tool. I'll go about the center of one of the wheels to about the center of the other one. When it seems to draw a rectangle, this is at an angle I can tell because of that curve. I'm going to undo it. I actually need it to sit on the top. I can't have it going into the wheel at all. All right, this one seems like it's sitting on the top. I'll pull it up six inches so that I can see for sure. Orbit around. Yes, it's sitting on top of my wheels. All right, I'm going to pull out this end to about the center of the wheel. Push in this till it meets the front. Go to top view to make sure that I haven't pulled it too far, which I think I have pulled it a little past the center. Push it in a little bit more. Top view again. Okay, this needs to be pulled out this end to about the center. Okay, I'm going to orbit around. push up the bottom of this so that it's actually sitting on top of them and not sunk into them. Pull up the top a little bit more. Okay, now I have a shape that's sitting on top of my wheels. I want to use my pencil tool. I'm going to draw a line that connects the rectangle to the wheel and then I'm going to orbit around, draw another line that connects to the other side, and then up again. Then I'll connect the corner of this to the corner of the rectangle. I have to make sure I'm actually touching the corner of the rectangle, so maybe that would be a better place to start. Once I've done one side, do the same thing to the other side. Take my line tool, draw a line down, draw a line over, draw a line up, Connect the rectangle to that end, orbit it around, and connect the rectangle on this side. Okay, now again to front view. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to make it a component. And I'll call this Ionic Capital. Oops, spell it right. Create. Now, I want to set this capital on top of my column. So, I'm going to use the Move tool to move it directly up and over. And scroll out. Need to move it up some more. Let's go to the top view so that I can move it over the column. Enter it over the column, go to the front view again. Now move it down. Okay, 
Now it's a little large for my column, so I'm going to use the scale tool to modify it a little bit until it looks about right. And I may need to move it up a little bit with the move tool. Zoom in so that I can see. I'll choose this rectangle to help me set it down in place. Now, I may need to scale it side to side because it's too narrow for my column. So I'll try to pull out directly along this line. So it's wide enough. And just keep scaling it until it actually fits my column very well. And keep orbiting to check the fit. We're getting close. Yeah, pretty close. Let's try moving it. And let's scale it down just a little bit this way. All right, you may want to make your column smaller, um, your capital smaller. Again, all you have to do is keep working with the scale tool until you have it the size that you want. When it jumps to the wrong size, you can just, like that, hit Control Z, or the other thing is alternate backspace is the other undo. Don't let yourself get frustrated by those little undo things. They're part of the process. Okay, when you think it's finished, check it, orbit it, and if you're happy, finish it that way. Again, this is adjusted for demonstration purposes. You may have a different method. You may decide that you need the top portion to be a little bit bigger. So you can open the component and pull this up more. Anything that you feel needs to be done, you may want this section to come out more. Again, it's up to you how you design your capital. Just make sure that your connection points are clean. And that you're connecting from your shape to the rectangle. Okay, so that's the idea of it. That concludes this session.